So good evening and welcome back to another one. Um, it is the 2nd of September today, so that means autumn is just around the corner. So I've come out to the woods tonight. I'm going to be meeting um, Dave and Kieran. They're going to be joining me shortly. Um, the plan for me tonight is just to check out sort of, just to see if the first signs of autumn have arrived. So we're looking for mushrooms, we're looking for berries, we're looking for the colours changing in some of the leaves on the trees, which on the drive around here, I can already see there's some yellow starting to appear in the leaves. Some of the trees behind me are already covered in berries and I can already see on the floor that there are some trampled mushrooms. So the first signs of autumn are here and well, woodland and autumn, they just go hand in hand. It is just absolutely the best time of year to be out photographing your local woodland. The only thing missing tonight probably is a little bit of mist and a little bit of fog, which really adds to the atmosphere, but not to worry because this is the first one of probably many trips to this exact woodland. So I'm gonna have a walk around, see what's around and I'll catch up with you guys as soon as I find the first thing to take a photograph of. Um, I'm going to be using the macro extension tubes tonight. That's macro extension tubes, if I can speak English. Um, so I'm going to be doing some macro shots. I'm maybe using the Helios, a bit like Dave did in his last video, actually. It may seem like a bit of a rip on Dave's video if you've seen that, but I assure you it's not. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have a walk around, see what's around, and hopefully get the camera out in a few minutes and start taking some photographs tonight. So if you saw Dave's last video, you'll have seen um, this tree in it. Uh, this is a tree I come across a few weeks ago when I was here with my lad making a what's it like to be on YouTube video and I considered shooting it but it's it's far too cluttered. Like what Dave said in his video it's very very cluttered around this tree but this is the kind of thing that you're looking for this time of year. You can see it's got green still on some of the leaves but a lot of them have already started to turn yellow and it's already started to get covered in these little red berries which made for some awesome um, Awesome little macro subjects, but uh, looking at them, a lot of them have started to turn black and die off now. So maybe a little bit late in the year for these berries now, but this is the kind of thing that you're looking for in woodland at this time of year. If this tree happened to be a little bit more cleared and wasn't quite so cluttered, I'll obviously I'll be considering taking a picture of this because it's a nice big tree and it looks, it looks really, really nice, but uh, it's just a little bit too cluttered around it. But this is the sort of thing that gives me excitement this time of year. It already feels different in the woodland to what it has been like for the last few months. Um, I typically hate shooting woodland in the summer months. I find it very, very tedious and I find it a bit of a chore. But this time of year, the woodland, it really just becomes, it becomes a photographer's playground in a way. It is just the best place to explore. And like I say, it already feels a little bit different. Obviously it's a little bit cooler. Things have started to change color. It even smells different, as weird as that sounds. I know you can't smell it, but it really does sort of smell different in these woods. So I'm going to head on a bit further down the path now. There's a bit of a clearing just up there. I'm going to plonk myself down in there, have a little look around, see what's growing around there. And hopefully them two aren't going to be too much longer. So I'm going to get myself down to the field that you'll probably seen many times on this air channel before. It's one of my favorite places locally. So I'm going to go get down there, have a look around, see what's growing, see what's not growing. And hopefully it won't be too much longer until I can get this bag off my back and get my actual camera out. So. Let's get it down there. Right, so this is one of the fun things about um, macro photography and macro extension tubes is you've got to be on the floor to do it. Um, so just in front of the camera lens there, there's some nice yellow flowers. I thought we'd start off with something nice and simple. So I've stuck uh, an extension tube on the front of this and I've got the Helios on at f5.6. Um, settings wise, we're at 1 50th of a second and ISO 800. I've, I've put the ISO up a little bit because basically there's a little bit of wind around and it's blowing the plant, plant around a little bit. So um, just to keep it nice and sharp, basically keep the shutter speed reasonably fast. So a two second timer. And there's that one, so I'll throw that on the screen for you to look at. I'm going to head off into the woods, just over there, and go look for some mushrooms. Cool.
Right, so I'm now laid on the floor once again. So we've come across this fallen log. It's got mushrooms along the full length of it, it's great. Um, we've got the Helios 44 back on with a 12 mil extension tube. And basically, I'm going to be using this little light here, um, this Sammy tin light. I got sent it free by the uh, by the makers, and it's, uh, it's supposed to be a vlogging light for doing that. It's crap for that, but for just illuminating subjects on the floor like this, it's actually really good. So we're at f5.6, a one sixth of a second, and ISO 100. And all I'm going to do is hold the light just down here, basically just to illuminate them. I and it's basically it's just going to fake a little bit of light and give a little bit of light and shadow on these mushrooms just to make them look a little bit more interesting. So. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to set the two second timer going and I'm going to shine the light on these mushrooms like that. There we go, easy as that. So I'll put that on the screen for you to look at and then we're going to go ahead, head off and find some more mushrooms. There's some little spiky boys in here and some bright orange ones as well which I'm looking forward to finding. So let's go catch up with Dave and Kieran and take some more pictures of mushrooms. So there's starting to be a bit of a theme developing here and it mostly involves me laying on the mud. Um, just down here, uh, there is a little mushroom. It's actually it's actually quite a big mushroom. And um, what I've done is I've set the little light up, the little LED light up just down there. And so I think I don't think you can see it. You can see the light is shining, but you can't see the light, but it's there. Anyway, so I've got the Helios on again and I've kept with the 12 millimeter extension tube. And we are at F8, which is just about giving me enough depth of field just to get the front rim and a little bit of dirt and the mud that's on top of the mushroom in the shot. So let's go ahead. We're at two and a half seconds because it is a little bit dark now. I saw 100 and F, F8, two second timer. And there's a picture of a mushroom. So I'll put that on for you to see. And we'll go see what everyone else is up to. All right, so I'm gonna call that a day for this video. Um, the sunset has now happened. It's a very overcast evening, so the light is gonna die off pretty quickly now. So I hope this little video on shooting mushrooms in sort of early autumn has given you some ideas to get out and take some photographs of your own. Obviously having one of them little LED lights is a great bonus just for shining light on the things and giving a little bit of light and shadow to things. It's just a little bit of fun. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the pictures I put out tonight. Um, so this will be up on, what day are we today? This is Thursday, so this will be out on Sunday when you see this. Um, so if you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button, you'll see more videos from me in the future. And give the video a thumbs up because it really helps the video and it helps me out in the process. So until next time, it's peace and goodbye.